Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. We had a great time down the shore. Uh, anyway, I'll get into that in a minute, but you saw the thumbnail. I'm back. Four days, baby. Let's see what we got. That was salt. That was sun. The whole nine yards. Uh, sunscreen on my face. The whole thing. Let's see where, where, where we stand. Now, as you know, over the years, if you've been following these videos, I've done this dozens of times. Uh, always with pretty good results. Okay? So let's see what we got, and then we will uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. good man anyway did you have a good time we had a blast we had an absolute blast laid out in the sun you know I adore the sun I take proper precautions actually uh, get into a little healthier sun is very very important guys uh, what it does the sun uh, rays from the sun change your cholesterol into vitamin D and that's really the only way to get proper vitamin D. Uh, supplements just don't work for vitamin D. With that said, I try every morning to get out in the sun 7 to 8 o'clock. That's when I'm without a shirt, getting a little, you know, you know I'm not deep, dark, leathery skin and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I, I don't go for that. But um, I do try to get out in the sun. With that said, um, Bacon at the beach is, is not what I do. I usually keep my shirt on, my t-shirt on. Uh, I will wear a visor, cover, slather myself with uh, sunscreen, and uh, enjoy. I will uh, go in the water. The water was beautiful um, and all that sort of stuff. But my lips get very, very dry. Duh. And um, a little sunburn, you know, that type of thing and uh, it does get a little crusty there, okay? But, I'll tell you what, this didn't work as well, taking time off, until I got the 1SB. Oh, by the way, all of you that are on back order, I have them all boxed up. As soon as this video is uploaded, I'm off to the, the uh, post office, and uh, you'll get those 1SBs today. Guys, it is the best mouthpiece Ever. Anyway, with that said, four days off. I couldn't do it if the chops were tight, if the corners were tight. All the guy and Doc Severance is one of the guys. <coughs> I take one day off, I need three days to get it back. Guys, if, if that's what you need, you're doing something wrong. Now, if I had the hide near the Hummel today, <coughs> I couldn't do it without clamming, just like I did. And I'm not saying I could that I could just go out today. The chops would be fine for that. But since I haven't practiced, yes, I, I clam notes and splat things that I wouldn't normally do. I, I'm not saying that in the least, all right? That is what you practice for. But the chops are there. We're not tightening anything up, so nothing gets out of shape. The guys that do tighten, 
do need that pounding when they get back after they've taken a few days off. Guys, to me, it's a no-brainer. An absolute no-brainer. And I'll tell you what. Now, here's another thing. If I was playing, performing tonight, Haydn, Hummel, Main of Concert, Lead Trumpet, whatever, I would not have taken those four days off. I wouldn't have done it. I'm still maniacal enough to want to, you know, keep everything sharp. As you heard, and as I said, I make no bones about it. I clam when I take that time off because the whole timing between the tongue and the fingers and the chops and everything is not completely aligned. But I can still keep the compression. The tongue, even the weakest tongue in the world, has plenty of strength, enough strength to play triple C's. Triple C's. Okay? So you're not trying to keep that strong. It's not like you're doing tongue ups. Uh, you know, okay? The corners are relaxed and the chops are relaxed. The compression between the, the bottom lip and the, the tongue are ready to go. And guys, it can withstand days off. Now, like Doc, if I was playing, <laughs> if I was playing the type of demanding shows that Doc was doing, yes, I would, I would take four days off before performing live. So no, I wouldn't do it. But the chops itself, chop strength is a misnomer. It's a misnomer. And if I use that term, I, I, I'm misspeaking. Guys, it's not strength. It is not strength, like lifting weights. I do kettlebells and all that sort of stuff, guys. I know what it is to, to create strength. Tension is strength. Strength is tension, okay? We're not trying to get strength. And all these guys, silly, absolutely silly. And if I were to bet to bait anyone, I could make fools of that from a physiological standpoint. It makes no sense from physio, and I've done enough about that, okay? But the point is, guys, we are not doing that. So every single one of my students, at one point or another, I get an email from them, Ralph, you were right. There's just no, I took three days off. There's no way I could have brought my trumpet to the hotel, blah, blah, blah. The chops are fine. Guys, it doesn't go away. The chops. That does not mean that if I actually did a Haydn or a Hummel tonight, they wouldn't throw, they would, I mean, they'd throw tomatoes because it'd be a splat clam bake. Okay? For accuracy, technique, and fine tuning to the nth razor edge that you need to be a top professional, yeah, you have to practice. To develop chops, to maintain chops, don't need it. All right? All right. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. And I got a couple things. Maybe I'll do something this weekend since I took a few days off. Maybe I'll do something this weekend that I don't normally do. All right, guys. Have a good one. We'll talk.